right, thanks for joining us today for this quick look at Prisoner of Planet Doom, number 63 from the upcoming Future Foundation set. Uh, he has three traits and one special attack power. We're going to take a look at what he does and his dial and how his uh, Doom takes what he wants can come into play. Uh, so he's starting with uh, Leverian Armor Mystical Ruler Scientist and Warrior Keywords. His first trait is the same trait that's shared on the other chases, which is at the beginning of the game, you may choose a starting line of equal points on a character from your sideline that also has this trait. If you do, replace this character with the chosen character. Uh, so you, if you have the multiple chases of this set, you can choose the power set that is to your advantage, depending on what your opponent is fielding. This Doom has the second trait, which is Doom takes what he wants. Whenever Prisoner of Doom KOs an opposing character, after resolutions, choose one. Choose a standard power on that character's card. Prisoner of Planet Doom can use the chosen power this game. Or choose a combat value. Prisoner of Planet Doom modifies the chosen combat value plus one this game. And we're going to take a closer look at, at what that means, but it's just uh, the thing to point out now is when he KOs an opposing character, it doesn't have to be a standard character, just any opposing character. And his last trait is at the beginning of the game, if you are not the first player, roll a d6. Three or four, first player skips their first turn. Five or six, first player skips their first turn and this game, Prisoner of Planet Doom may choose both options for his Doom takes what he wants trait. Uh, so that five or six, that's going to be super good uh, because he'll be choosing standard powers as he KOs and he'll be modifying a combat value plus one for the entire game. And then he does have a special attack power, which is steel energy, but with close or range attacks. Of course, he has the Minions of Doom team ability, which is when this character KOs a standard opposing character after resolutions, heal one click on a friendly character using this team ability, and that can include himself. So this figure uh, is going to be uh, attacking and trying to KO people. So he's going to be one of your main attackers. As he KOs, he'll be picking up things from the doom takes what he wants trait and he'll be able to give himself a chance to uh, heal if he's not on his top click with the minions of doom team ability looking at his dial he comes in at 150 or 75 points for 150 you're getting 10 clicks and for 75 you're getting six clicks uh, he flies, he has an 8 range, which is a, a pretty good range. On his top clicks of either point value, he's going to have a run and shot. On the 150, it's going to be an 11 run and shot, which means he can move up to 6 and then take that shot 8 squares away. On his 75 points, he has a 9 run and shot, which means he can move 5 and then take the shot. He has just the special attack power on his attack slot, but it starts on click two and goes all the way through his dial. So on every dial except for his top click of 150, he has steel energy, but with closer range attacks. Uh, so the ability to heal up that way, plus the Minions of Doom ability to heal, uh, should make the most out of the uh, clicks that he has. He still has a ton of clicks at either point value, and then those uh, chances to heal just extends his life longer. The defense, he's starting with an 18 on both click numbers, but on the higher point value, you're starting with um, invulnerability. And then on the lower point value, you're starting with toughness. Uh, so he has a reducer throughout his dial. Um, and then on his damage, he's starting with a four on the 150 and starting with the three at the 75. He has perplex on both of those start clicks, uh, currently perplexes as it was, but when the rules change, there will be a slight change to perplex. 
Uh, and there will also be a change to ranged combat expert, which is the other power he has on his damage. Uh, so even uh, currently, or when the changes come into play, both of those are still gonna be uh, good powers to have. That ranged combat expert's gonna be bumping up his attack by one and his damage by one once the roll change happens. Uh, so just a standalone as he is without any equipment on him, it's a solid dial. Now let's take a look at what happens when he KOs a figure. So with these values he has here, they're pretty good just on their own. If you uh, KO a character and you use his trait to bump up your combat values, I don't know, this one, uh, he's a figure you're gonna want to have hidden characters uh, throughout the game. So you might wanna take your first choice of uh, increase in his combat value, his attack up by another one, uh, or his damage up by one. I think his defense is fine because he's gonna be having that steel energy throughout uh, everything except for a very, very top click. Uh, so I'd either go into attack or to damage. Now, since it doesn't have to be a standard character he can KO, if he KOs some of the most common pogs that are out there or bystanders that are generated, uh, here's some of the powers that they have on their card. So paparazzi, he could be a uh, prisoner of planet doom, could be choosing sidestep or in cap. Uh, Chewie from uh, Captain Marvel, he could be prisoner of planet doom, could be choosing uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Super Senses, or a Perplex. In case you're playing them at 75, you get knocked off that top click, you might want to have Perplex as an option on the other clicks. Uh, Shard from the uh, recent set, he, Prisoner of Planet Doom could be choosing Running Shot and Precision Strike. Those are just some examples of the bystanders because he can choose powers off of them. Uh, so hit him with four and three damage, is enough to take care of those types of figures and then be choosing powers or boosting stats so they can also take on the higher point figures. Now, another thing to keep in mind is how this works, the wording of his trait with uh, retaliation type characters. So this is Dark Phoenix. If your opponent's playing this type of character, they're probably on their, their bottom click, which is their lowest point value. So for this example, if Dark Phoenix is being played at just 30 points, the if, if Prisoner of Planet Doom KOs this character, he gets to choose a power on the card that is different than the powers on the dial. So all of those powers are on the card, uh, plus, uh, some more clicks, but really it's this power set is going to be on the card. Uh, so then he could choose any of this. So if you uh, have, if you're going against somebody that has a colossal retaliator across the board from you, uh, or a different figure that's being played at a low point value, but has some great powers on their higher point values, then you might want to swap in this doom for one of the other dooms so that you can try to KO and get a wide choice of different powers to choose. On this example, you KO Dark Phoenix, you could be choosing Pulse Wave. Uh, Pulse Wave Steel Energy is pretty good. Uh, you could be choosing Outwit, you could choose Prob. There's all hypersonic speed with Prisoner of Planet Doom would work pretty well also. So a lot of different choices when these situations arise. So all in all, uh, this Prisoner of Planet Doom is a great chase, uh, strong uh, in multiple ways, the ability to heal, the move and attack, uh, just a great figure, uh, really represents the powers that he has, they all, they all work together, uh, so really cool figure, uh, one of the better chases in my opinion of this set, but really all of these Dooms are pretty darn good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Check it out. If you dig what we do, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.